Okay, and welcome back to part five, maybe, I think, possibly, of, uh, all your names are reset, you I had all, oh wait, no, I was about to say, I had all the names done out so I wouldn't have to do all this crap during the, the, uh, intro, but, yeah, it turns out I did, it's, just, you know, but uh, yes, I have all my named guys right here. Oh, wow, you're actually heavy. Okay, there we go. Now, I have, of course, me and my best friend. I have, I have uh, me, my best friend, Logan. And uh, various others, friends and family, Ethan, Mike, Zach, Sam, William, Jake. Uh, I'll be adding a few more here. This is primarily going to be my name squad. and Yeah, I'll be adding, uh, I think I got two more on the way for these, this one. They will be uh, Kristen and Kelsey. Uh, and again, if anyone wants to submit like a name in the comments... Like your your name or character, if you want, feel free. I have nothing. I will definitely look at them. I have nothing against them. I'll probably hire a new private and do that. And the one thing I do do is, uh, yeah, I said do do. Uh, one thing I do is when they die, when one of my name characters die, I will replace them and I'll have it Jake two, so I know how many times they die. But I actually, you know, since I have the casualty list, I guess I can just have them be their normal names. So I can just look them. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they're equipped. And sooner or later, I'm gonna be really soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have uh, when these guys get done making the armors for you know money, I will. Uh, yep, here they are. I'll have them start making uh, lasers. But I need money. I need a lot of money so I can uh, uh, so I can st well one buy a condor. I need to buy I need to buy planes over here. Uh, for now, yeah, because I'm gonna have radar up in a day. I need to buy a condor, and I need to buy other. I need to buy a thing, so I'm gonna actually need to build more uh, jackal armors and sell them so I can actually, you know, buy a Condor and a Charlie and pay for more bases because I can't just constantly wait for the council report. I actually need to get money on my own. And, uh, yeah, I, I really just need money. And, I, and that's why I got this mod is because... It's really hard to get money on your own, and you generally really have to rely on those sports. And even with this, you still have to rely on them. It's just that you have to do it a little bit less. You actually have a decent thing. I mean, look, I'm no alien contacts. There we go. Oh. oh, man, right when I moved my condor, a medium, the, I believe was the first medium of this, uh, this little series, this second season pops up right when I move the condor. Woo! There you are. Shoot down the first one in the, in the Americas. Up, oh, yep. Wokey! When the mediums come, they, uh, they come in twos, apparently. Get there. Corvette! I only have 17 seconds in my condor. I can't actually wait for you to go over land. Aww. Speaking of a condor, they took a beating. Yep. Ouch. Oop, there's my Gatling laser. So, uh, yep. I first think, oh, uh, besides the, uh, I forgot to go to my research thing. I want wolf battle armor. Probably won't use it for a while, and then when I do, probably won't be that much, because I need to actually have uh, people level up. Yep, pulse laser. It's uh, basically a accurate version of the rocket launcher. Oh, yeah, I need to assign you, don't I? Charlie one. Uh, yeah, it's the accurate version of rocket. Is basically how I should how you can best explain it. <sighs> I 
can't risk sending you guys out because, again, you'll blow up. You will quite literally possibly blow up. You, I'll lose you. you. You're both like just above half wounded. I'm actually going to have to let that go. Up oh, here's the missing thing. Okay, here's my supply of money, and with this, I should be able to buy a Charlie and another Condor. Hopefully. Yep. Okay, so I will buy a Condor here. And I will buy a Charlie here. And, oh yeah, I don't have a hanger, so I'll actually just expand and get another hanger here. Also, the radar. Oh, I need to get another radar. There goes all my money, and I don't even have enough to make a, another thing, but the Council of Support's coming up. Wolf Battle Armor. Yeah, now there's nothing for me to research. I can't build that, because I'm not, I will not build Wolf Battle Armor for a while, because you actually do need to... Uh, uh, put alien alloys into that, and I want to improve my weapons, because, yeah, the only way you're getting an alien alloys is through ships, and we'll start getting that, damn it, we'll start getting those, uh, more as time goes by. But for now, it's gonna, damn it. <laughs> Can you take a Corvette by yourself? <laughs> if you could, I'd be fucking amazed. 1% chance you could. <laughs> I'd take it myself and try and do it, but I only have 30. You know what? What the hell? What the hell? If I do it, I'm amazing, and, you know, I I'll secure a lot of money. <laughs> I don't think I will, though, because I only have 38 seconds, so I don't... Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, no! You back. I just... I, I done fucked up. Yep. Uh, I misclicked. I was trying to click here, and I clicked there. So yeah, I just lost my condor. <laughs> I just bought it too. It had that brand new smell and everything. So that was, that was. But yep, yep. Those medium ships have been fucking up everything. North America, if you do that again, I'll lose you. Uh, Australia, you do that again, I'll lose you. Uh, I need to build an outpost in Australia immediately. Uh, first things first, though. Uh-huh. Yep, we'll fight our four alien hours. $400,000, and I will get more money from that back. How much is a base? It's 500 So I can't build you yet. <laughs> and unfortunately, like, this isn't a... Uh, this isn't uh, XCOM uh, Dangers of the Deep, so I can't uh, I can't build uh, them in the water. I can't build bases in the water. Unfortunate. Where do I want my garage? I don't have it here. So I, I will build those uh, jackal armor, sell them, and then build a base in Australia. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Every time I look at that, I'm going to just think and know that that could have been easily avoided. Damn it! The Corvettes are freaking fast. We're gonna have to build another Foxtrot or something. Condor 1! Ah, uh, your ammo! Damn it. There's 1% chance, so... I guess that means, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Hit him from behind. 
I'm gonna try and shoot two missiles up his ass. No, why would you turn that way, you dumbass? You dumbass. Okay, I shot him in the side, and apparently he just laughed. That was with the delirium tip missiles, too, so... Mm. Mm, you go. Wait, oh, okay. I was about to say, I just sent you out. Damn it! Ah! I don't suppose my Foxtrot has... Am I a gambler? Yes. Damn it! <laughs> I, I'm just trying to look good in front of the people, and then you just go around and fuck me over. Starting to make me look incompetent. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's a terror mission, or a bombing mission, or a base raid, whatever. Damn it, Foxtrot. Yeah, that was a terror mission. Not gonna happen. Whenever you see something being escorted, it's something important. And needs to be taken down immediately. I mean, I'm sorry that there hasn't been any ground combat, but... Cost me 300, I made about 800. Now I have almost as much money as I started with. Use half of it immediately to build a base in. Nope, because I want. Because I'm going to cover. Uh. Yeah, I'll build it here because I just want to cover Australia. But I also want to cover a little bit of the Soviet Union over there because I can't. You cannot maintain. Uh. And I'll. An outpost, like three outposts, unless you literally only have, because even if you have the base radars and everything, just three radars and only like one hangar, you one also uh, you won't be able to do much. Just one, even the most upgraded, the fighters, you won't be able to do much. Uh, and two. If an alien were to do a base attack and you fail to stop them, then they instantly destroy that base. Okay, small. Go after there, medium. Problem with the Condors is they will never improve their speed, I don't think. Which is their only really disadvantage. If their speed was improved, I would immediately just have all of my... Uh, Things be condors, because then they'd be pretty good. I mean, if I had three of them, they'd take it out in battleship. Okay! See if you can't take down two. If you take down two, I'll love you. Yep, yep, you don't have enough. I'll wait for you to go by. You know, a uh, day to go by, so I can get you in the daylight. You, I'm not going to get, because you're not worth it. But this will be my first Corvette. Get him. Get him. Damn it. It'll also be the first time I've used uh 
use the vehicle like in both series. I didn't get get to use the, the throw off the vehicle in the last series because I, generally I don't use them because like there's like four people I could use instead. That's why again I love the reinforcement box because it actually makes it viable to bring vehicles like your tanks because you know otherwise it's just why would you bring a tank that has limitations like you can't go certain places like in the ship it re like when you actually get to the ship it's kind of useless and like bases they're kind of they're and i guess they can go around there but they're slow sluggish and you know there's just i'd rather have four people instead and uh i'd rather have more people than a tank that has limitations because a rifleman can go anywhere and attack anything if and the tank has limitations of it can't go certain places and also big thing is it has a high tendency to kill civilians it's my uh with my luck anyway i have a high tendency of killing civilians on accident and killing my men on accident and a few times it's shot like completely defied physics and almost shot straight downward and killed itself a few times that's just uh unfortunate luck i believe I'm. Um, we start off and immediately find an alien. I should have moved this. I really should have. Now, see why I won't do this? It's because there's a 25. There's a two 25. There's several percent chances that I'll accidentally hit my own people. In which case, that would literally explode and probably actually kill everyone there. I forgot to make another sniper for this. Oops. Nice. Now the unfortunate thing about that is this is just the Charlie shop there, so the only way for my tank to get out is through here, and now my sniper's used his actions, so he actually can't move, which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Also, these guys can't get out. <laughs> That's why generally when I uh, have bring the tank, they're in the front. Until I get the strike, then they're, uh, they're in the back. One reason, though, why I love tanks is that why Reapers can certainly damage them, like, excessively with their claws because it rips their armor. They can't in instantly kill it. Which immediately gives me great appeal to it because, you know, that's something that can really stand against Reapers. Because that's the biggest thing about Reapers and, you know, Gene Stealers is they can't, you know, they can instant kill all of your men. Never, even when you have the they will still instant kill. That's why they're sons of bitches. I'll not set you to burst because then you'll just shoot. Oh, I also got a, another mod installed that it should be installed anyway. Where it, uh, uh, it allows, like, the... Makes the... Ooh, that cop just got nailed. Oh, there he is. Okay, so there's one over there, There's and then there's one that way. I hate you. I can't get out. You son of a civilian. <laughs> if there's ever a reason why I would want to kill a civilian, now is it. If you keep staying in there, you've pretty much just ruined my tank. You bastard. Why don't you just destroy it while you're there? Because when it's in there, it's pretty much useful. Ooh. Okay.
Unleash hell. Unfortunately, I express my own guy, but I don't know. He'll get over it. He'll live. You know, if an alien were to kill you, I wouldn't give a shit right now. You dumbass. Oh, there's a military chopper. I'm just gonna go in there and park right in front of their tank. Hunker down. Clearly, that'll be safe. Yeah, it's safe, but you know what? It's not even really that safe, because the aliens are gonna target there. You're going to play the biggest possible target. I forgot to move one of my assaults. But that's gonna hurt. Oh, were you suppressed? There's no way you weren't. Oh no, you were heavy. That's on a shot. I thought that was one of their shotguns. That must you must be heavy. Honored, truly, that you would send a heavy after me. I am being uh, slightly cautious because there is a high probability that this is a Reaper. Since this is a Corvette, it is highly pop probable that there's a Reaper. Okay, that's the edge of the map, and there's a human, there's a civilian there. Did you move, civilian? Yes, you did. Finally, my tank can come out, and yep, that's the unfortunate thing about the tank, real unfortunate, is that he crushes, like, anything in his way. You actually have to really watch the bat, because he'll crush, like, the, uh, yeah, he looks up, oh, no, he actually didn't, but he, he will crush these things. See? And that's just perfectly good cover that my, my people could have used. Uh, actually, well, there it was. It didn't matter because, you know, there's cover right next to it, but you get my point. I don't want to stay too close to the bus because the bus can explode. Some of you might be thinking I'm being a, too, a little bit too cautious, especially because this is on normal. But then you haven't played enough XCOM. Or at least not the original or this one. Because, I mean, hell, even the one that I berated as being easier is still not an easy game. It's still hard. You never keep your men out of cover. Uh, it's just that this game, it, this game, the series in general is always difficult and it punishes you severe, severely even for not being cautious. Sorry, officer. Oop, there you are. Yeah, I'm actually just going to waste a turn here, just move up these guys, because I want to show you what happens when I fire off my big gun. I'm firing my laser. I'm actually really excited about this. I haven't done it myself. I told you, I, I, guys, I, don't, uh, I don't generally use the uh, tank. Oh god, I was right to be cautious. I've confirmed Reapers. I am not going anywhere. <laughs> Hunker down. You look that way. You look that way. No, you, you, you look that way. You look that way. You look that way. No, that way. Uh, you look that way. You look that, uh, you go here and look that way. I don't care anymore. There's Reapers. I'm not moving a goddamn inch. 
You only have burst fire? Well, that's problematic. Oh, you're a freaking Gatling gun! It somehow instantly kills my thing and just, you know, turns it into a zombie. Oh, this must be like a community edition thing or mod that I don't remember. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ow. If you destroy me, I'll just be rebuilt. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let my uh, tank handle the problem because, uh, yeah. I don't want to deal with Reapers and the zombies. I'm gonna keep my- Ah, you're going try to go towards the Reaper, you dumbass. Well, there's the Corvette. I know you're behind that wall. I'm firing my laser! I actually hit you! Ow. If I kill you all with this tank, I'll feel very happy. Damn it. I don't want to get too close because if they hit that car a few times, it'll blow up. Are you telling me you can't drive through that pole? Open that door. Oh, do I actually not get a reaction? You did 60 damage? Whoosh! I guess that, uh, that ends my plans of, you know, killing you with just my tank. That's not gonna stop me from trying. Fuck you! You're, you'll probably kill me now, but that tank's already done... A platoon's worth of damage, so... Yeah, I actually uh, think the Reapers are... Uh, are done. So I'm gonna park here, and then I'm gonna move up, and then I get the Hunter Scout car, and it doesn't lose it, so I don't have to rebuild it. Uh, I don't think they get promoted. I don't think you can promote a vehicle. Yeah, but I'll send my assaults here, and I'll try and capture that, because I'm pretty sure that was an officer. I'll send my assault, and this guy, and you, you can run over here, because, again, there still might be other Reapers, and if there are Reapers, the only one I feel comfortable with running around is definitely the those two assaults. Oh god, I thought that was a Reaper for a second. I'm paranoid, if you can't tell about Reapers. I've had bad experiences. Everyone who's played XCOM has. Or Xenonauts in this case with Reapers, but... Anyone who's played XCOM um, or Xenonauts knows to fear the Crystalids and the uh, Reapers. They, you give them respect, you give them fear. In equal measure. And yeah, cover is something you don't have to worry about with Reapers because they don't give a shit. They don't use ranged weapons. They come up and stab you and then insta-kill you. 
No matter what, how high level you are, no matter how much you're loved by your commander. They say, fuck you! Yeah, but I, I, I think it's safe to assume that if there is another Reaper, it's being kept on a tight leash inside the ship. In which case, fuck me. Because there's nothing more scary than fighting a Reaper in a closed environment. Even if your assault has shotgun. Because then if you miss once, you're fucked. Again, I kind of want, I really want to uh, capture him. Actually, now that I'm done here, you guys, you can keep watch and see if there's a... Uh, if a reaper does come and say, fuck you to me. You shouldn't be able to... Okay, so apparently you can. So you can be there and just, like, say hello to me. For me. <sighs> I'm paranoid, I'm paranoid, I'm paranoid. Kneel down there. Oh, nice shot. Oh, that's bull. Fuck you. And yes, you can keep a, uh, you can keep a, uh, Reaper alive, but I don't care, even if it was a mission priority, I'm not exactly going to try my hardest to do that. The only time I've done it is by accident, where I just laid one of these things, I just put one of these things and it just ran through them and it knocked them out by its own. And that's the only time I've ever captured a Reaper, and I was, like, so amazed by it. Oh, I guess there was that one time where I did it to test the theory by, uh, with this, with, and I was, uh, I, I just saved it, and then I ran out with a stun baton. <laughs> that did not end well. I had, like, eight people all armed with stun baton, uh, to go capture a Reaper, because I thought it amused me, and I was bored. And, yeah, like, I think six of them died in the attempt. Okay, so clearly I did, that didn't work very well with backfired a bit. Uh, because they, uh, they aren't going... What? Reaper. 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 Oh god. Reaper. 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 Can't see, but I'm currently huddling in the corner. You can't go through a wall! Burn it! Burn it! I have a flamer over there that I could use. Oh god! How did you manage that? Yeah, where is my flamer? Oh my god, you've been here alone the whole time with reapers around? Good god, you have balls of steel. You're a braver man than me. I swear I saw a Reaper. I swear. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. You can't make me. You can't make me. You can't make me. This is where he gets ambushed by a Reaper on the way.
Yeah? Uh... Yeah! You lay them down. Hold on.